campaign in South Florida, his wife, Dr. Jill Biden, was rallying in Boca Raton. The two are campaigning and working to win over the Sunshine Swing State. CBS 12's Jay O'Brien was at that rally and has more on the Democrat and Republican strategies to get voters to the polls. Ask anyone who follows the polls this year. They will tell you there appear to be few, if any, undecided voters. So the candidate who will win in November will be the one who can get the most supporters out to the ballot box. And that process reached a key moment today in Florida. On the last day to register to vote, Democrats honked car horns at a drive-in rally in Boca Raton, and Dr. Jill Biden, hoping to be the next first lady, gave this message. So if you haven't yet, get on your phones right now and register right now. Especially in a state like Florida, we've got to get out. 29 days until America decides and the election hinges on who and how many go to the polls. Across the state, voter registration is surging past where it was in 2016. The Democrats up nearly 300,000 voters by last count. The Republicans up a half million. We've got a ton of enthusiasm, but still, you know, it's that, that, that silent majority that hasn't really erupted yet, that hasn't even woken up yet. Willie Guardiola, a Republican activist, registers voters here. Weekly sign waving events at Trump Corner in Palm Beach Gardens. <laughs> With this support, Guardiola doesn't buy the polls that show Biden leading in Florida. I look at this vote as probably the most valuable thing that I can do in the year 2020. That's something Guardiola and Florida Democratic Party Chair Terry Rizzo have in common. She points to vote by mail numbers where Democrats are currently outvoting Republicans two to one as a sign of her party's enthusiasm. Is there an enthusiasm gap or do you have the enthusiasm you need? Enthusiasm gap, 100%. You've got the enthusiasm. 100%, we've got the enthusiasm. Don't you see it in vote by mail? I mean, come on. While Democrats are banking on vote by mail, Republican strategists tell us they are crossing their fingers for a groundswell of in-person voting, both at early polling sites and, of course, on Election Day. I'm Jay O'Brien, CBS 12 News.